Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name is Doodles. Now the 4.5 update of Fortnite Battle Royale has gone live and man, this thing is huge. This is potentially one of the biggest updates that we've had in a while. There is so much stuff being added to the game, including the playground mode, which we are all so hyped about. There's been so much hype online. I've seen so many people excited for this and I imagine everyone is going to be jumping into the playground mode today and I cannot wait to try it out. And hopefully you guys are just excited as I am. Hopefully you guys are excited to see what is in the patch notes. If you are, make sure you give the video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new around here, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and click all. That way you'll never miss out on a video goes live on the channel, including all of the Fortnite stuff. But for now, let's get into these patch notes. And as I said at the start of the video, the playground mode is coming out today and I am so so hyped for it. We've got more information on it. There's been a lot of speculation about how it's going to work and a few things have been cleared up here. Uh, the summary of the playground mode is playground is a low pressure environment where friends can let their creativity run wild. Build massive structures, practice with the weapons and items, fight against your friends, have fun. And now for the more details, it says you have one hour to create, play and train as you wish. Hop in and try out version one of playground. Drop into the battle royale map with a squad of friends for an hour. Friendly fire is on. Players respawn in death unless killed by the storm. The storm doesn't start closing in for 55 minutes and takes 5 minutes to close in. Resources gathered at grand 10 times the normal rate. 100 llamas will be spawned on the map. Chests and ammo boxes spawn 100% of the time. So this game mode is going to be an hour long, obviously unless you want to jump out of it early, which you're free to do. I believe you don't get any experience, uh, nothing counts towards challenges or anything like that. So it's literally, if you want to play for an hour, you've got an hour to do it. If not, you can always jump out, I suppose, early. It doesn't really make a difference to anything. You're not going to level up anything like that by uh, staying for the whole hour. Uh, but one thing I have noticed, it always mentions your friends. Now I'm... Wondering whether you can actually play this on your own or whether you have to be in a squad or at least you'll be paired with three other people. I'm not entirely sure how this will work. It'd be great if you could hop in on your own, but it seems like just to keep the servers at least somewhat not as populated, sort of not as cluttered up, that you have to have at least four people. And there's going to be so many servers being used just for this mode on its own, never mind if you had people just doing it on their own. So I imagine it's got to be four people in the map at any one time uh, but the good thing is even if you get landed with people that you don't know you've got headsets we can still communicate with each other maybe sort of do some cool stuff together maybe sort of say i'm over at this point don't come and wreck stuff because i'm trying to do this or whatever but even if someone does that you still respawn it is all good and uh, resources gathered uh, grant 10 times the normal rate so just by hacking down a tree you could potentially get like 500 wood so it's you're probably gonna have enough resources to last the whole hour when doing things imagine whaling wood you could just you could just go whaling there. You could just have a whale over time in whaling woods and you'd probably get about 20, 30,000 wood just from that. Maybe even more. That is absolutely insane. I think, I think you could probably... There's probably 100 or 200,000 wood just in whaling woods alone. So I think you've probably got enough materials to last an hour. Uh, but moving on from that, even though I just want to talk about it all day, but I more so just want to go and play it. Uh, but there's also Final Fight Teams of 12. Now, we've had uh, Teams of 20... And I've just seen that it says teams of 12. I don't know if this is a typo because I don't know how 12s is going to work because there's 100 people in the game. So there must only be a maximum of 96 people in the game. Uh, but it's the same as last time. It says make it to the final circle and fight for the victory royale. Uh, final fight plays similar to the battle royale mode. Um, it's exactly the same game by the look of it, except there's just teams of 12 rather than 20. So there's going to be a lot more teams to contend with. So it's kind of like an upgraded version of squad. It's like a massive squad's. Uh, only 12 instead of 20. Either way, that's coming into the game too. Pretty cool. I think I prefer 50v50 if anything. I'm not a big fan of the 20s or 12s or whatever. But um, it's still cool. It's still a good way to get some of those uh, challenges. Especially like the revive ones and some of the explosive ones if you make it to the end. It's a good opportunity to get some of those challenges ticked off. Uh, so if you haven't already, definitely jump into those modes and go and get them. Uh, but the other big thing from the update is dual pistols. That is right. Pistols are one of my favourite weapons in the game. Not the revolvers, not the uh, Desert Eagle. So don't like them ones. But the regular pistols. The, uh, the grey, green and blue. I love those pistols. And now we are getting epic and legendary variants of them in the form of double pistols. Like Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. This is awesome. They've got a 41 to 43 base damage. They use medium ammo. You shoot both pistols with one pull of the trigger. And they can be found from floor loot, chests and supply drops. And they do not use first shot accuracy. Obviously if these did their first shot accuracy... 
A, you could deal. I imagine it's 41 to 43 each. Or is it per, is it both pistols? I'm not entirely sure. But either way, you could do some massive damage with first shot accuracy. So we have turned it off for that one. Now, this is absolutely awesome. I generally, I like going for the pistol, especially early on. It's, sometimes it's a good backup weapon. If uh, maybe you need to reload the air, you can quickly switch to the pistol, get some good kills with that one. And now we've got a reason, another reason to continue using the pistols towards the end game, and that is the epic and legendary variants. I cannot wait to jump in, find these, and check these out. This is the most excited I've been for a gun in quite a while. I love the pistols. But now moving on to the shopping carts. They've been added back into the game now. Uh, they've actually changed something, so significant jumps that are landed now we're going to appear in the elimination feed so normally you get something like someone was sniped from 242 meters away now it will say something like whoever uh, jumped 242 meters in the shopping cart so not the fact that they died in the shopping cart but it's more just going to sort of show that there is someone out there doing crazy jumps with the shopping cart and it could be quite interesting to see what people come up with how far how much height how much distance or stuff like that people can do with the shopping carts it could be coming to own a little trend where people are going to try and sort of figure out exactly how far they've gone because now it's going to tell you exactly how far you've gone uh, which is super super cool now uh, but also weapon damage to structures now correctly scales with rarity so obviously the uh, the better the gun the higher the rarity of the gun the more damage it would do to structures so I don't know if it's been like this for a while, I don't, I've never really noticed it, but I don't know, say an AR does 30 damage to a structure, now the grey AR might do 30, the green 32, etc, etc. That's kind of what I'm gathering from that one. Uh, but shotgun damage has actually been reduced from structures by 50% for the pump and 25 for both the tack and heavy shotguns. Now it's harder to pump and tack a, a base down for him, which is going to do a hell of a lot less damage. So basically, if you want to take down a base, you've got to go with the ARs or any other form of automatic weapon. And then also they are uh, making following changes to further solidify their identities and strengths of tactical and silence SMGs. For the TAC, they've removed first shot accuracy. They've increased the base accuracy by 25%. They've lowered the sprint accuracy penalty by 15%. They've lowered the ADS bonus by 10% and increased the damage by 2 And for the silence, they've increased the base accuracy by 10%, increased the ADS accuracy bonus by 20% and increased the damage by 2 uh, which is awesome because I find that the TAC SMG is awesome. It's one of my favourite weapons in the game, but it is so inaccurate. Uh, you can see when you're shooting it, the bullets are just spraying everywhere and it's so hard to land shots. You can be pretty much next to someone sometimes and you're shooting them and just nothing is connecting at all. So this is going to definitely help this one out, make it more accurate and make it even more deadly. This gun can take you down in a second if you, get the, if you get the bullets in, if you get the shots fired accurately. So this one's going to be increased accuracy now. It is going to help so, so much. And I can see this being a gun that more people gravitate towards to. I know I will. Now they've made the Tack and Silence SMG even better. They have made the shotgun slightly worse. And now that the ammo now drops in stacks of four instead of five. And maybe this is to try and curb the whole double pump thing. Maybe try and give less shotgun ammo on the maps so people aren't carrying them as much. Uh, shotguns are way overpowered in the game. They're awesome, but they are super, super overpowered. Now there's going to be 20% less ammo in the game. So maybe people are going to run out of ammo quicker. Maybe people aren't going to carry the double pumps. I don't know. It seems like they're trying to nerf them without nerfing them so they don't annoy people but uh, this is a minor change to them and uh, I'll, I wonder how it's going to sort of change the face of Fortnite going forward uh, with people using double pump and uh, also the grenade launcher visuals have been temporarily changed to shoot fireworks instead of grenades this is a cosmetic change only no idea why that's the case but it's pretty cool I'll be pretty interested to see what it is like now there's also been a lot of minor fixes to the game quite a lot actually but uh, nothing major that we need to spend any sort of great length of time talking about uh, there's been lots of added, but a lot of just general fixes, which obviously we don't need to spend too much time talking about because they are what they are. They happen with every update. Um, if there's been something that's been annoying you in the game, you can read it on screen now. You can sort of see uh, exactly what it is and see whether your issue has been fixed. But obviously the main thing is that the playground mode and the dual pistols are coming to Fortnite very, very soon. As soon as the uh, servers go back online, which could be at the time you're seeing this video, they will be in the game and I cannot wait to go and check them out. And hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am. If you have, you can't wait to play the playground mode and use the dual pistols, make sure you give the video a big fat thumbs up if you're new around here. Also subscribe with notifications on. Click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, then click all. That way you'll never miss out on a video that goes live on the channel. And if you have missed any of the Fortnite videos, there's a playlist in the description box and also on the screen at the end of this video. My name is Doodles. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.